Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. In this video, we are going to show how to bind a dynamically created data table to a grid view. So let's start with our Visual Studio solution. In grid view examples, we have added a page grid view example dot aspx. On this aspx page, we have created a grid view and name data as grid view student details. You can drag drop from the toolbox or you can also create it in the ASPX markup page. Let's press F7. In the code behind, what we have done is we have created a method inside not is pushback bind grid view data. Inside this method, we have created a data table object first. In data tables, initially we have added the columns dt.columns.add the name of the column and the data type of the column same followed by student name education and state after that we have created a data row object and for the data row object we have created a new new row inside the new row for each column we are adding a record like student id equal to 1 student name equal to Shah Rukh Khan education equal to btech state equal to mumbai and the newly created data row we are adding in dt.rows.add object. Similarly, we, we have created 4 to 5 rows. So let's put a breakpoint over here. Set us startup page and debug. press F11 now if we check the data table it has got a structure like student ID student name education and state now let's add the first row here we have the first record now we have got four records after that what we have done grid view details dot data source equal to dt the data table which we have created and after setting the data source we are directly binding the data to the grid so here we have all the records which we have created from the data table now let's put a for for loop here let's say 10 Now what this for loop will do, it will loop through all the records and it will create 14 records. As you can see, the student ID 4 is repeated 10 times and press F5. So we have all the 10 records displayed in the grid view. So in this tutorial, we have learned how to bind a data table to a grid view which is dynamically created so thanks for watching you can subscribe our channel 20 fingers 2 brains on youtube also you can visit our blog 20 fingers 2 brains.blogspot.com